footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the Eagles versus the Seahawks. Now let's start with Philadelphia in this game. Let's look at that offense. Vince Young, yes, he threw for 400 yards in this game. He could have threw for 500 had the receivers caught the football, and that's why I want to start. Offensive consistency versus Seattle is important. The reason being the Seahawks boast a tough defensive front, a tough uh, front seven overall linebackers are very tough as well so the receivers have to make those tough catches and the Eagles will have to make plays across the middle of the field I know some of those wide receivers may not want to go across the middle no wide receiver really wants to go across the middle but these guys have to own the middle of the field against the Seahawks and they have to be consistent look for Shady McCoy to have some success running off tackle with that draw play that sprint draw but you look at the receivers have to make plays against the Seahawks defense now let's look at the Eagles defense in this game when you're playing the Seahawks it's all about stopping Marshawn Lynch this guy is in beast mode all season long and he's getting stronger as the game progress if that Eagles defense gives up any inkling that they can't stop the run the Seahawks are just gonna lean on this running game and force the Eagles to play down Downhill throughout this matchup. So the Eagles have to come in and crowd the line of scrimmage. The reason being, you can man up on these wide receivers because that's going to force Tavares Jackson to make those consistent stick throws throughout the ball game. So gamble in the run defense department, and the Eagles can have some success in playing against the Seattle Seahawks. Now you look at the Seattle offense in this ball game. One thing that I like is the running game. The run game is doing it outstanding. They're doing a great job of keeping that offense, the passing game in manageable situations. The problem consists of the receivers not getting open, not getting off bump press, and that's where I want to start. I'm pretty sure the Eagles will come in and play a lot of tight man coverage against those wide receivers. They have to get off the line of scrimmage. They have to get open. They have to create separation. The way you can create separation if you're not as fast as the guy you're going against is by running excellent routes. So everything else has to be perfect for the Seahawks receivers to create this separation, to get open, to give Tavares Jackson the opportunity to get you that football because you know he can fire it in there in those tight windows. Now you also look at the offense side of football when you're attacking the Eagles. I wouldn't stay away from eye formations or broken eye or weak eye as far as running downhill versus the Eagles. If you can get the game controlled with the ground attack, the Seahawks can win this ball game at home because they have an outstanding defense that can get the ball back for that offense. Now let's talk about the defense right now. You look at the front four. Ray, uh, Red Bryant is having an all-pro season. Again, I mentioned that last week. He should get some all-pro consideration. It is all about middle pressure versus the Eagles. Vince Young is a guy that can break contain and get out the pocket. So quarterback pressure down the A and B gap causes problems for any quarterback, but in particular, a guy that wants to get out there and make plays with his legs. So I look for the defensive front seven to come up with different starts and blitzes to where they can attack the interior, which is the weaker spot of that Eagles offensive line. They're struggling right now at the guard position in my my opinion and also you want to make sure you cheat up in obvious running situations Andy Reid is a guy that struggles with consistent play calling the Seahawks can have a chance if they stop the run now let's look at some x-factors in this ball game x-factor for the Philadelphia Eagles has to be consistency receivers catch the football and they can have some success x-factor for the Seattle Seahawks has to be wide receivers getting separation if they can get separation and get off the bump press and get off the line of scrimmage they can have some chances to make some plays in this ball game Big game, Thursday night football. I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. If it has to come to a situation where the offense has to make a play, I have to side with the Eagles more so than the Seahawks. Although this will be probably one of the more underrated ball games this, this week. A lot of people are laughing it off, but I like this matchup. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.